This is video four in our series. Uh, where we're at right now, we've got the base of our chair completely put together, and uh, we're going to look at starting to put together these sides. Now, one of the problems you're going to see here is that uh, based on what we've built, the front slat of my chair actually extends out a little bit further into the side than the back does. And this is what allows our armrest to sit on top of the front leg, but to the side of the back leg. But what I want to do here, this is the first thing I'm going to try and work with, is that I actually maybe want to pull this side piece out, extending out its width just a little bit further, and maybe even taking our two side pieces, selecting vertex for each one by right-clicking on each, select my vertices, I'll hold down shift and select my vertices, and move these back just a little bit. I think now, based on what we have here, we might have a little bit more intuitive selection. If I take these and just maybe scale it out a little bit more, move it up just a little bit more, I think we're going to have something that works in place to anchor this chair correctly. Since my front legs are going to sit pretty much right out here to the side, and my back legs are going to sit behind. Well, to create the legs, I'm going to again create a new polygon cube. Now, it can be really hard to see where to position this cube if you're in the perspective view. But if you hit spacebar, and go, for instance, to your top view, it can become a lot easier to see where to position it. I think that is a pretty good location right here. Same thing for scaling this up. I'll hit R to grab the scale tool and I'll try and scale this upwards a little bit to make the correct proportions. But I don't really know if it's on the ground plane or not. I can't really check that until I go into the side view. And now I can take a look at that ground plane and make sure that my bottom leg of the chair is roughly there. And go into my vertex component mode and maybe move this up or down just a little bit depending on what's needed in the end. So that's the front leg of my chair. To create the back leg, what I'm going to do is again create another cube. And again, I'm going to try and make sure that this cube is roughly similar in size from the top view as my first cube. That way I'm keeping my legs pretty close in size. So I was using the scale tool and the move tool. I'm going to go ahead and position this here right in back for this chair. And I'm going to scale this piece way up because it's got to be pretty big for the back side. Hit spacebar twice to jump into the side view. And there we go. We've got a pretty good selection. Now this back leg does have some bending to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my attribute editor. And under my initial creation tab, which is the middle of the five tabs, I'm going to add two more subdivisions to the height, giving this a total subdivision value of three. Now these subdivisions aren't exactly where I want them. I want these lines to be right at the section where this is going to bend. So what I'm going to do is right click on my model and choose the vertex component. Drag a selection over these and hit R to scale. And if I scale these together, I can compress this little section of faces really close to the area in which it's going to have to bend. Now if I just grab a selection over the upper vertices and hit E to grab the rotate tool, I can use the yellow outer circle of the rotate tool and then W for the move tool and pull this section backwards a little bit, creating a nice sort of graceful bending to this leg. You'll notice as well that the leg actually bends backwards along the back section, so I'm going to want to taper that out. Also, my front legs and back legs seem to taper a little bit more towards the bottom. So let's see if we can get some more of that bending happening. I can select my bottom vertices and move them back. Let's move this section down a little bit more so it fits flush. 
And I can grab my scale tool and maybe scale this in just a little bit. With the front vertices, right click on the object, choose vertex component mode. I'll grab my move tool, move this leg forward a little bit, hit R for scale, and scale it together just a little bit. I'll return to my perspective mode and see I've got a pretty nicely created left side to the chair. I've just got to build an arm. Well, now's a really good time for me to save my scene again, so I'll just hit Save Scene. And let's go ahead and build my arm. This might be one of the more complex pieces that we actually create for this project. The arm curves in a rainbow shape. It also curves at the ends. So this means I'm going to have to create divisions along this cube in two directions. But let me first start out making yet another cube, and I'm going to move this one up roughly into place. I'll be able to see it right here inside the top view, probably a heck of a lot easier. So let me go ahead and scale this out. And I think this is a pretty good spot for us to start by just positioning this off to the side. In fact, you know what, let me scale this down a little bit more so it's flatter. You'll notice still that I haven't yet entered component mode for this. Doing so would sort of invalidate my initial creation uh, attributes. But what I do want to do now is add a couple of divisions for the width and the height. I can add, let's give it three divisions for the width, and let's give it, actually we don't want height in this case, we're not going to round it out in this direction, we actually want depth. Let's try and give it five divisions for depth. Well what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my top view, and to round out the front and the back, I'm just going to take my middle vertices and push them back on the back and push them forward where they're forward, and now you get a nicely little rounded edge. That's the sort of edge that we're seeing back here. Now my big task though is to create the rainbow arch across the center. Well what this is is the fact that first the arm is going to go up, reaching its apex right about here, and then it's going to have to come back down. So I'm going to grab each of these vertices, moving them together as a group, dragging selections across them, and I'm going to move them down. And I think with that, we've now got a pretty nicely selected side. To finish this portion up, what I'm going to do is group these parts and duplicate it over. If I go to my hypergraph hierarchy, You'll notice that I've got three new groups, or three new objects, 14, 15, and 16. Well, let's actually name these. Um, number four, or number 14, I'll rename front leg. Number 15, I'll rename back leg. Number 16, I'll rename arm. I'll grab a selection over all three of these parts, and I'll hit Control G creating a new group. I'll rename this group Left Legs. You'll notice my pivot point will automatically be in the center. So all I have to do is hit Control Shift D because my options are the same as before. Sorry, that's going to break when I have Camtasia open. Duplicate Special will do it. Um, and this will create left legs one, which I can rename our legs, and each drag into my chair group. That will finish up this section. In the final video, we're going to take a look at creating the back of the chair.